What is going on everyone? I am Pro, and welcome to this Escape from Tarkov quest guide. This guide is for the quest setup where you have to kill 15 PMCs with a 12 gauge shotgun on the map customs wearing the Yushanka flappy hat and a scav vest. In this video, I am going to show you how to set up your shotgun and I'm going to give you in-depth strategies on how to complete this quest. We're going to pull out the map and I'm going to tell you where you need to tactically position yourself to get this quest done. Some people might call that camping. I call it playing the game. Remember, we're just trying to get the quest done and I will have a montage of me completing the quest. There's no flex intended or anything like that. I want you to watch the montage and pay attention to the spots that I'm at because there's a reason why I'm in every spot and it will make more sense when I pull out the map and we go in depth and show you the best spots to get this quest done. So let's get into it. Montage, how to set up your gun and the exact strategies and spots that you're gonna wanna sit in to complete this quest. So you can go back and tell skier set up this mother. to weapon setup there are only two 12 gauges in the game there's the mp153 and the mp133 i recommend using the mp153 and i i think most people would agree with that it just feels like a better shotgun all around now keep in mind you're probably gonna die a lot remember you're you're going into the raid to kill pmcs with a shotgun and most of these PMCs are going to be running good ammo. They're going to have good armor and they're going to have full auto weapons. So you're not going to win every single fight. So you need to just keep that in mind. It's a mental thing. 15 kills is a lot. But where I'm going with this is you don't want to make your shotgun too flashy. 
because there's a a chance that you're just going to lose the shotgun anyway so the basic shotgun is is good the way it is i would make two modifications the most important thing you can buy for your shotgun is this eight round magazine extension tube this thing will save your life so many times just having the ability to put eight rounds at the enemy without reloading you're gonna win a lot more fights and it's really helpful against two mans and three mans even though in those situations you're probably gonna die because you just have a shotgun you might take one or two with you and hey it goes a long way toward completing the quest the base mp153 only comes with a four round magazine this thing's huge another great addition to your shotgun is going to be adding a reticle or dot to it this is really easy you just buy an sprm mount pops right on the shotgun and you can put almost any sight on the shotgun so pick one you're comfortable with i find that if you use like a holographic something with a big circle uh, really helps especially if you're using buckshot I don't know if it truly makes a difference, but I feel like it helps when I'm using a shotgun, but you use whatever you feel comfortable with, whatever you can afford, but the iron sights suck on this thing. So any dot is going to be helpful. Last but not least is ammo. There's only two real choices here. If you're trying to go with the best of the best, we have AP twenties and we have your 8.5 Magnum buckshot. The last three wipes, I've only used AP twenties for this quest. It's a great round. It pushes through armor real well. And what I like the most about it is you can almost snipe with this thing. So when I get into the strategy section, you're going to see there's going to be a lot of spots where you can uh, get PMCs from far away and having the ability to put an accurate long range shot on a player is, uh, is something extremely beneficial but the magnum buckshot is not no chump these things destroy people usually it takes a, a few shots but if you land all the pellets you can take people down another great benefit to using buckshot is that they are only 53 rubles from jaeger which is considerably cheaper than the ap20s which are 323 rubles we've all probably been one tapped by the scav with the magnum buckshot from across the map so you should understand how strong these can be if you're in a pinch for money just use buckshot but uh i would definitely try both out and see which one you like the best we are now on to strategies and tactics this is a beautiful map of customs we're going to zoom in we will start with the big red side so if you spawn on the big red side there are two options you have one is getting kills off spawn and two is camping big red so let's talk about big red first within the first 10 minutes i would say three out of every five raids somebody is going to be going through big red so if you get there first you're just going to hide and wait for 10 minutes sometimes by the time you get here somebody will already be in here so sometimes the guy that actually spawns in big red will go up to the offices start looting the safe and the computers and you just hide on the bottom you know stay quiet crouch walk be tactical and camp the stairs and you should get an easy kill but again, after 10 minutes, I would move on from this spot. And the other option is getting kills off spawn. So this is going to be based on experience. The more you play the game, the more, the better you're going to know the spawns, the better you're going to be able to anticipate where players are going to go. But some basic spawn killing tactics are if you get the spawn here or here or here, hide in the bushes somewhere in here you'll sometimes catch this guy running up you'll sometimes catch this guy running up or catch this guy running up 
another off spawn tactic is if you get the spawn over here i always push this spawn sometimes you'll find the guy that spawns here just standing there so, you know people go to the bathroom during load-in maybe he's pre-medding but i have found a bunch of times the guy just standing there uh you can also push this way and sometimes you'll come around behind the player that spawned in trailer park you can also just go through storage and try to cut the player that spawned here off and those are probably the best getting kills off spawn this is a tight area so you can only go so many ways you either go through big red go that way or go that way uh, you can make a case for camping the bridges i wouldn't advise camping the bridges because there's four of them you want to make good use of your time and if you're just camping a bridge for for 10 minutes and you don't find anybody you're kind of wasting your time because the player traffic it can be unpredictable uh when it comes to the bridges another really good spot that's going to piss a lot of people off is hiding in the bushes over here so people come this way because they want to go to crack house here so if you spawn here i would run up run across hide in the bushes for the first 10 15 minutes you might catch somebody coming through this way also if you hide in these bushes here you can catch people moving this way leaving the go extract it's a pretty good unknown spot that you can hide in to easily get your shotgun kills now we're moving up to the dorms area this spot here hiding in these bushes is awesome because you don't un you don't know how many people actually move through this area you got people coming down from dorms you got people crossing this way you got people crossing this way you got people coming out of here and here and here there is a good amount of traffic here the only thing you have to worry about are the patrolling scavs that move around through here but besides that you should be able to get at least one opportunity a raid by hiding here during the first 20 minutes so that's a good spot um so dorms there's a million ways you can hide in dorms obviously three stories more popular you can just camp the uh exits by hiding in the bushes here or hiding in the bushes here um but mainly you'd want to worry about is if you got the spawn up here you know you run down to dorms you get in dorms and just hide there's a good chance you're gonna you're gonna find somebody and i'm not gonna get in detail on where to hide in dorms there, you can hide in so many spots just be creative remember your shotgun's long so uh sometimes it'll be sticking out so you might want to point it in the air or point it on the ground so uh, it doesn't give away some of your hiding spots also if you get to spawn here push across the junk bridge get in dorms sometimes this guy can be moving kind of slow you can get you can get set up in here and catch him coming in now the boiler side is a lot more stretched out than the big red side so it's it's harder to like catch people in in like choke points so if you get any of these spawns here or these spawns here i recommend hiding in the bushes here it's pretty common to find people pushing to the gas station so say you spawn somewhere here push in you hide this guy pushes through to go to the gas station or this guy pushes through to go to the gas station i've had it happen you know i have spawned here pushed into here hit in the bushes then this guy comes moseying out i really like this area 
it's good for catching people off spawn if you spawn one of these i would camp old gas station because there's a good chance somebody one of these spawns on this side is gonna push the gas station so you spawn here push under the bridge hide in the bushes maybe this guy will come around you can get real creative hide in the bushes here wait for this guy to come over the fence and you can pop him there so those were just some general strategies i used to complete this quest they obviously can be used while not doing this quest but because of the difficulty you're putting yourself at a disadvantage by using a shotgun you really want to have that element of surprise on the geared fully automatic enemies and i think all those spots i showed you pretty much cover the high traffic areas these just aren't some random spots that i picked there is a, there is thought behind these i'm only gonna recommend putting you in places that have high traffic because you're gonna get the quest done faster that way you know i could have said just camp zb1011 when a lot of times people don't even use that extract that could be a waste of time you might find one person there in 40 minutes the spots i showed you you're gonna get one or two people or more arrayed going through those areas so i hope this video helped i hope it made sense you know we're not all big twitch streamers that can just go in the dorms and kill seven people with a shotgun this is more designed for the person that is struggling but you know camping is a part of the game this isn't call of duty this is escape from tarkov but if you could please like the video it helps a lot in getting my videos recognized and if you could leave a comment that helps as well don't forget to subscribe for more escape from tarkov videos we are currently at 14,000 subscribers let's push toward 14,100 thank you for watching the video and good luck with the quest